Okay, let's talk about the, some of the features here of the Smartro projection clock. Uh, it's got a built-in LCD for the time display. Um, it has the projection port, which is right here, which basically will project the time up on the wall or the ceiling. Um, your plus and minus buttons for your settings, turning your alarms on and off, setting the time. There is also a on-off switch for the alarms on the side here. You have two buttons to be used on the back. The wave button uh, helps to sync the atomic clock signal, which sets up the clock. Um, it comes with its own built-in AC adapter, which plugs in here. Also has a battery port on the back where you can put two AAA batteries. So let's see how this thing works. Okay, to set the clock up, we'll first connect the supplied AC power to the clock. As you can see, the clock powers up. Uh, right away, you'll see the flashing tower here. That means it's looking for a signal uh, from the atomic uh, laboratory, which will send out the signal to set the time and date. Okay. Correct. Clock doesn't automatically set its time using the atomic clock. You can press and hold the time button here on the front for a few seconds. That'll take you into the setup. Then you just toggle back and forth with your plus and minus keys here to get the right time. So if we want 12 hour or 24 hour time, we hit OK with the time. Uh, depending on what time of the year it is, you've got daylight savings time on or off. Uh, depending on your zone, we are in the central zone here, so I need to move this to 6. And then we've actually got the setting for the time. I'll just set that at a generic time. There's the minutes. Push the to go to the next section. You just push the time button, then you actually do one of the neat plus features of this clock is the projection screen. So I'm going to move up a little bit, and you can see right here. It's kind of hard to see because we're inside and it's pretty light. But we can see there's the actual time being shown. So um, like I said, if you're a few feet away, I think optimal setting is around 10 feet. This will actually be displayed up on the ceiling or the wall. Um, if we need to change the orientation of it, uh, there's the two arrow buttons on the back right beside the um, wave button. You can just basically press that and see it changes the orientation of it. Overall, um, I'm very impressed with the clock. It's worked out well. Um, it, works, it works great nighttime and daytime. Um, this is your snooze button and also your light button on the front where you can change the turn the backlight on and off. But I like the ability to use either a supplied AC adapter or the batteries. That way you can travel with it or take it on trips. So highly recommend this. It's available on Amazon. It's the SmartTro projection clock.